I need to somehow trap the- I need to trap things that aren't Incineroar on the field with Thousand Waves, and that way I can, like, set up freely. Instant Reggie Lucky. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. So, we don't want to get intimidated, right? So, we're gonna switch here. Like, we- there's no point coiling when we might just end up, like, yeah, getting dropped anyway, so... I'm faster than them, so that's interesting. Um, it's good to know. They intimidate second. I really don't want to take a Volt Switch is the thing. So, yeah, this is going to be- this is looking like some nice slow defensive gameplay. Uh, I'm going to go into Rillaboom and Fake Out here, I think. Into the Regilecki. Is it, what's the worst thing that happens if I do that? They could switch, or they can max. Maxing isn't that scary. I think it's probably fine. Because I don't want it to get chipped down, because it's kind of one of my only answers to Cortana. They don't switch Regilecki out. They could max it, but again, maxing Regilecki means no max Cortana, so that's fine for us. Um, but yeah, we really would like to get a Fake Out- or a Coil up at some point. And I think they either fake out Zygrade or they party shot here. Either are fine. Okay, no max. They actually fake out, so they yeah they did pay attention to the speeds, which is good. Um, let's see here. I have to call now whether or not I think that the instant is gonna hard switch or if I think it's gonna stay in. Um, I think I'm just gonna fake out the instant and parting shot the Aleki. Worst case scenario, they switch Volt Switch. Aw, oh, thanks for the sub, Mally. I'm happy that you're you're doing well. Electro actually comes out, so that wasn't what I was expecting personally. Let's see, it's not looking like specs damage to me. Um, yeah, that's fine. Um, it's a little bit of damage, but it's still fine. It seems like relatively healthy. I wish I had taunt on a on Zygrade right now, but yeah, it's fine. Go into Zygrade. I think I want to coil here. I don't know. What, I don't know how y'all feel about that, but I think this could be a good opportunity just to get some coil on the board. I really want a thousand waves and trap things in as well, but like I can't really trap either of these because they can just you know bolt switch your party and shot out, and then um oh I was like why is that instant faster than my Rillaboom? But then I remembered I got electrowebbed. Um so yeah we're just gonna grass glide here. Let's get some damage in the Lucky. Could be useful later, and then I'm gonna coil. I want a thousand waves and trap these two in, but it's like so likely that one of them switches. Like, if I'm them here, I'm always switching instant out into something like into like Cortana, and then I'm volt switching Rillaboom and bringing instant back in to get the intimidate again. Anyway, getting some chip damage from Regilecki is nice. We really want to limit their switching potential, and so be putting Regilecki in range of another Grassy Glide is really one one really good way to do that. I wish I'd been able I wish I'd had I'd had an opportunity to taunt the instant here. That would have been really nice for us. They actually don't switch either Mon out, so Thousand Waves here would have been really good. Uh, we get some nice damage here, though. They do go for Volt Switch, that's expected. Um, it's fine, though. We don't really- we're not really in any danger of taking any damage this turn, unless they burn us, which would be bad, and probably lose us the game, but... Yeah. And before Flare Blitz burn... Uh, Flare Blitz isn't... Like, unless they Flare Blitz Zygrade, right? Cortana goes come in, okay, that's- that's the most threatening Mon, so we now- we now see it here. Um, this is most likely Parting Shot, truthfully, however, it's still okay. Their last one's probably Calyrex Shadow, from how they're playing this. Um, should we Parting Shot here? Or they could be Flare Blitz. They do Parting Shot, that's bad. Um, into my Rillaboom, that's great. Okay, that's really good, that's really good. Because now I can Thousand Waves this turn. Um, and now they're forced- to, they're, they're kind of forced to show me their last one here. Um, which is really good for us. So, the issue is that I actually don't really want to max- I- okay, hear me out. I think- I think this is a max instant game. Uh, unless they go Calyrex here, in which case it's- Oh, it's Feeny! Oh, that's great for me. Okay, maybe it is a max. Um, I have options here. That's the thing. Um, because they're probably gonna. Okay, so I can't. I can't hard switch here, right? I can definitely U-turn the Cortana, potentially break a Focus Ash, and then I am plus one attack. So I think I just max Quake the Feeny. But do I need to max here? I really don't, right? I actually, I really don't need to max, right? Can I just Thousand Wave? I was like, what's the worst thing that happens? They move lost me, and uh, if they double into me, it'd be bad, but. If I don't do this, then I can max the instant, is the thing. How confident am I that I- Dude, they have to bring an instant aura here, right? I'm calling instant switching in for Feeny. Oh, I made a mistake. Oh boy, I made a mistake. Oh no! Uh, Zygrade, you got me? Okay, it's max Cortana, which I mean, I guess could be worse. And I did seal them with no- I mean, unless they protect, I have locked them into play now, but uh, hmm. This is definitely getting a little scary, I'm not gonna lie to you. They're gonna go for a Knuckle, which is what I expected. Okay, that's what we expected. Because they want to get attack boost up, right? Drill boom, they do a good chunk of damage here. And now I need to find a way. I have to somehow find a way through this Cartania. That's the that's the scary part to me. Because it's not gonna be easy. Um Thousand Waves comes out. Goes actually good damage, surprisingly, because of the attack boost. So they go for ideally Moonblast. It is Moonblast, but it looks like it's into Rillaboom, I think. 
No, it's in Desiree, okay, as long as this isn't one shot. Oh, that was such a nice amount of damage. Oh, Tapafini, thank you so much. That was just beautiful. That was a really, really nice amount of damage. And they're trapped now, so they can't even switch. Do I think Instant takes Max Knuckle? How much is this taking from Max Knuckle from Katana? I'm gonna look this up really quick. Um, let's see. Um, damage calc. Picolytics. Um, thank you, Animation, for buying me time. Instant versus Katana. Sacred Sword. Maxed. Max Attack. Non Intimidated does. 78%. Oh, that's 68 defense. So I think that's. Actually, I think I have, do I have more or less than that. Um, I'd probably survive one, I think, is what I'm thinking. But if I actually, if I get it wrong, wait, what's the max damage? damage? Uh, it's too close for comfort. I don't think I can risk it. So I'm gonna actually switch here into Rillaboom again. Because this will take a max Quake. Uh, this will take a max Knuckle, and then I'm actually just gonna max Quake the Kartana. Given how much Thousand Arrows did, I actually think this is a good move. And by trapping the Feeny on the field of me, this is good because um, I can't. I won't let Instant get in until I can deal with the Kartana. And once Kartana goes down, this game is over. So yeah. Because I should take a max knuckle here from this thing, and then that way I don't give it a beast boost, and I can just cycle instant again next turn. And I threaten to KO Infini with Grassy Glide, unless they go for Steel Spike. So, I actually think this went pretty well, all things considered. And, like, Thousand Waves is not as good as Extreme Speed would have been if I had access to Extreme Speed. But, yeah, like, the the nice effect of Thousand Waves is that, like, they can't intimidate me right now. Neither Pokemon can switch, so I can leave this type of Fini alive. Because, like, as you'll see this turn, it's damage output is going to be so much less than last turn. They're going to go for a Protect. Oh my god, I couldn't have asked for anything better. I literally couldn't have gotten any better. This should be Knuckle. Oh, it's Steel Spike. So they actually... Okay, this is great. I thought they called it for a second. But as you can see, its damage output is pretty pitiful, all things considered. Um, so we're not, we don't really care about that. We got another Knuckle off. Or a Quake off. My first Quake off. I don't know why I said another. Um, I do have to be a little careful with Feeny because it is now defense boosted. But And I'm doing no damage here. So this is Cartania. However, I think it's still okay. Yeah. Like, I could probably take out the Feeny this turn if I wanted, realistically. Although, do I want that? No, not really. I think I'd rather leave it alive. For now. Yeah, I can always I can always smack it around later. I think that's okay. Because uh, a Grassy Glide, there's a chance it wouldn't KO and I might lose Rillaboom. And if I lose Rillaboom, things can get a little dicey. So let's just play it safe, switch, and quick again. This is the last turn of Max for the Cortana, which means next turn I can KO it. I can just fake out Max Quake next turn, and then I'll have plus three special defense Zygarade, and I still have my item. 10% can be Power Construct, yes. Yeah. I want to use I want to use 1% Zygarade. It should be Knuckle, or, oh, Airstream. Huh. I don't dislike that. I think it's a solid move. Um. Yeah, I, I respect Airstream there. For sure, for sure. Although the speed boost isn't that concerning to me, because I think now that I'm, uh, I've am i transformed, I'm already slower. Alright, let's see what this does. Ooh, big damage. Not. Oh, you know what I can do is, since I have 1,000 waves, I can actually, um, I can actually Parting Shot cycle the Feeny. Because, like, it's still stuck at minus one, you know? Like, no matter what happens, it's going to be stuck at minus one. Or, if I, once I Parting Shot, I'm assuming it's not Calm Mind, which I guess it could be. But even that's not too big a deal, truthfully. And they only have plus one defense, which is, like, totally fine, in my opinion. So, yeah. Zygarde beats Cortana, thanks to Thousand Waves. If they had been able to Intimidate Cycle me, this would have been a lot harder, but because I they stayed in the turn that I Thousand Waves, and they transformed me, it, it ended up working out pretty well. And don't forget, all this damage on Zygarde doesn't actually matter, like, matter, right? Because the damage on Zygarde is... Uh, is to heal Pulse, or is, uh, Floral Healing will get rid of all of it. So, yeah, it's going to be kind of difficult for my opponent to win from here. Especially given that their last two Pokemon, neither of them are super good against um, the Zygrade. Also, we've seen three moves, and the one we didn't see was Leaf, Leaf Blade, so that confirms that this Cortana is Assault Fest. Because nobody runs Air Slash, Smart Strike, Sacred Sword, Cortana, and it so it doesn't have Protect. Uh, which means we can have a safe Fake Out plus Max Quake here for the KO. Because, like, in theory, I didn't know if it was Muddy Water. Scald. Ooh, that's not bad. I'm still plus one. Okay, 114 out of 60. Not bad, not bad. What did that do? Uh, it did like 114 to 60 to 54 damage. Get rid of the instant here. Okay. Plus two special defense on my instant, plus three special defense on my Zygrade. 
I'm still plus one attack, don't forget. I did consider Grassy Misty Seed on Zygrade, but, um... The thing about that is that, um... Like, originally, okay, so, like, Grassy Seed's more consistent, because I probably won't bring Feeny to every game, right? But you don't really care about the defense boost, like, it's your special defense that matters on Zygrade, and the reason I don't run Misty Seed is because I don't intend to bring Feeny every game. Oh, interesting. I should go into Regielecti here. Um, which is interesting in my opinion, but that's fine. Um, I think in this position I just want to coil, uh, I just want to parting shot into the Feeny because it's still trapped and coil again. Because they can't real. I mean, like, I guess I'm kind of in danger of, yeah, I, I, th I thought they'd just Volt Switch here, so that's why I did that. Um, actually it's more than I expected, however, we're now in an interesting position. We're actually in a very nice position now, thanks to the moveset, that I, the moveset I chose to run. So yeah, they're going to go back into instant, they're going to intimidate me, then I'm going to override that with coil. They're going to probably Scald again. They could move less, though. They actually have a Calm Mind. So that's, okay, that's actually a little bit concerning. I didn't know that they had a Calm Mind. Um, however, I still have a Lumen in the back, and I'm still plus three special defense, and I have unlimited healing, so I guess it's not that bad. I hope Grassy Terrain doesn't end this turn, although, actually, it's fine if it does, right? So I Coil here, and then, so I, I, they, actually, it's funny, because both of us, each of us, like, raises a stat, and, like, this stat that's lowered this turn as well. Okay, so Skull, Moonblast, Calm Mind, Project, we've seen all the moves in the Fiend. We know Instant has Fake Out, we know Instant has Parting Shot. Uh, we haven't seen anything else from Instant. Um, so I'll go into Comfy now. And now is where things get very difficult for my opponent, I think. Because with this, I'm still plus one. They're plus one as well, though. Um, but Fini's still trapped. And, I, uh, like, uh, the next few turns are just going to be take KO, take KO, take KO, I think. Er, sorry. I guess a better way of saying it is that, like... Okay, Grassy Train's still up. It actually doesn't matter, though. Uh, I have Taunt on my Comfy, so I'm going to Taunt the... Taunt the Ensign, I think, and then Thousand Waves here. This stops Parting Shot. Oh, they fake out into my Comfy, actually. So, oh, that's so good. Holy cow. They call Mind again. That's fine. Um, because I just two-shot this Ensign now. And I can even Taunt the Feeny and just trap it. Right? Like, we don't really care about the Feeny. It's, pl it's only plus one, actually. What am I saying? Thousand Waves, trap this. Post this oil if you love coil. <laughs> Why do you have both thousand moves? Because that's a great question. The reason they have both thousand moves is because they actually removed. Um, they removed extreme speed, which is the move you'd actually want to run on on uh, <laughs> on Zygarde. So yeah, lefties. Also, grassy terrain with leftovers is really broken. Like really, really broken. Okay, Zygarde still faster than instant. That's great to know. And Kafini's only plus one as well. So, that's good. And Grass is gone, which means the Feeny's recovery is now limited, so, yeah. Uh, Taunt Comfy is really good here. Um, Feeny's only plus one, plus two, plus one, and I'm plus one, plus two, plus three. Um, so what I can do now is, I can just Taunt the Feeny, and I can Thousand Waves again, um, here. And then next turn I can Protect Thousand Arrows. They move, they actually move less this turn. Okay, next turn I'll, I'll floor everything, because I'm not in danger. 189 down to 133! <laughs> Oh god, that's so funny. Okay, they can't they can't set up anymore. Yeah, Zygarde still has Berry, uh, and it's, they still haven't gotten rid of Comfy, so... Yeah, this is gonna be very, very, very difficult for them to win. I'm not gonna lie to you. Bop. <laughs> Malding right now. Is that Combine Feeny? <laughs> they have Combine Feeny, yeah. I also had Combine Feeny, but then I changed it to Miss Steel Pulse, which is so funny. Why wouldn't you have the waves and not arrows? Uh, at this point, they, it doesn't matter anymore because they were already trapped. So uh, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't matter anymore which one I choose. Like if you, I can click thousand arrows this turn because um, there's no more. There's nothing to switch from or to. And like they don't have any. Like not, no Pokemon were flying or had the balloon, so it was fine. What's the thought in Core Enforcer? I, it's so bad. I don't even know what it does. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Like I genuinely have no idea what it does because it's really bad. And like if the target moves before the user, you like turn off their ability. Ooh, nice HP. Thunder comes out, actually hits though. Ooh, I actually could lose Comfy, but I think if I lose Comfy, they almost guaranteed lose. Okay, that might be Specs Lucky. Ooh, Para is kind of bad. They go for a Skull that's. Oh, wait, they can burn me. Oh, wait a second. If they burn all my Mons. Oh, they didn't burn. Okay, cool. Okay, big damage. She would win 4 0. We, we might not be able to win 4 if they make certain moves, but uh, because they're so taunted, I actually have an interesting thing over here where I can go into Incident and Protect. Um, I'm going to show you all how to play this like perfectly optimally, in my opinion, because 
Um, like, if you're in tournament, like, and things do get really unlucky, sometimes you'll lose. So you have to find a way to, like, of winning, even when you're up, like, positions like these, of all, like, playing so that your opponent cannot win, even, like, like, for example, let's say they Scald Burn me, and they had, like, a berry, and, like, they crit, then, they, or, like, they crit Moonblast one-shot me, right? I could, in theory, lose this, but this is a, this complaint covers everything, because even if they'd Scald into Instant, I would have just gone Rillaboom and clicked Grassy Glide, and they're actually still taunted. So this turn, I can go for Fake Out into Tapafini, and, um, I can just Thousand Arrows here, get some more damage on the board. What's my stat boost? <laughs> I could coil again for the thumbnail as well. You were all posting oil. I know I know I know what you want. Alright, sometimes okay, sometimes you have to play for like perfectly optimal whatever whatever, and sometimes you play to get the thumbnail. And the thumbnail right now is plus six I grade. Please don't forfeit. Okay. Okay, does I agree? No burns, no burns, no burns, no burns, agree. No burns, no burns. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, we're going for thumbnail. We're going for thumbnail. Okay? So we're going for thumbnail. Everyone agrees we're going for thumbnail? Any agreeers? Thumbnail percent, that's right. We gotta get we gotta get we gotta get Mac we gotta get plus six. Agree? And this is nice because even if something goes wrong, I'm intentionally not bringing in Rillaboom because um, that way we will still win with Grassy Glide, even if, even if something were to go wrong here. Oh no, three minutes left! Check the thumbnail. Okay, I need to get two more coils off. Do you think we can do it? Please don't forfeit. Nice, 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 no forfeit, no forfeit, no Moonblast, which means even if they crit, I don't die. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, but that doesn't have to go in the thumbnail, it's fine. And I'm not paralyzed, so I can get I can get the six coil off. Nice, nice, no protects, okay. Woohoo! Well let's go Feeny, I agree. Lefties. Okay, let's take some damage, it's fine. Okay, come on, come on. Zygra takes too long. Okay, I check the thumbnail. Okay, plus five. Thank you, and then I floral healing myself. And then I coil. Okay, please don't forfeit, please don't forfeit, please don't crit, don't forfeit, don't crit, don't forfeit. Didn't forfeit? Okay, and I didn't get parrot, okay. Thumbnail percent, thumbnail percent. Don't disconnect. Oh, we got the thumbnail, did we get the thumbnail? Please don't crit! No crits, no crits, no crits. Big damage! Okay, 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 just don't, okay, just don't disconnect. Don't disconnect, come on, thumbnail percent. Okay, plus six, plus six, plus six. Thumbnail percent. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> okay, and then I switch to Rillaboom. And I click. Wait, no, thumbnail. What am I doing? Oh my god, we almost threw that. <laughs> should I win on timer or should I kill it? I'll, I'll, I'll win just regularly. Okay, we got the thumbnail. That's fine. Because this team is mostly physical, right? The, 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 it's like Thunny, Thunny, Zashin, um, Instant, Grimmsnarl. What are the last two? Like, Feeny. Instant, Grimmsnarl. Ooh, beauty. Oh, the beauty. Oh, the beauty. Okay, we didn't end up... Uh... Oh, wait, you know what I want to... <gasps> chat. Chat. No. Chat. Oh, they're faster than me. Oh, it doesn't work. Okay. Wait, no, I can still do it. I can still do it. I can still do it. I know what I, I know what I have to do. I know what I have to do. No, no, I can still do it. I can still do it. It's fine. Okay, into my Zygrade, right? Into my instant! Oh! Oh, I can still do it! Oh my god, I can I can do it, 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 I can do it. Okay, okay, coil, okay, I can do it, I can do it. Come on! Come on! <laughs> Come on! Okay, this turn, what do we think they're gonna do? They're gonna parting shot my Zygrade and, like, do whatever, right? So we protect Taunt, right? They didn't switch? Oh, oh, come on, give it to me. Come on, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Huh! Uh-oh. Huh! Uh-oh. What are they gonna take from me? What item do they have? 
It's fine. This is still worth it. This is still a good trade. I think they're going to give me Lagging Tail. I think they're going to give me Lagging Tail. Okay, if they switch to Thundee this turn, I am so unbelievably doomed. Oh, I got it. It's fine. Even if it's eject button, it's fine. Full instance. I got him. I got him. They're trapped. They're they're trapped. That means I can set up indefinitely. They're stuck in here with me. Ah! <laughs> no! I trapped them! Oh god, it's gonna be thunderous. You guys wanna see me auto lose? Go into Zashin, please. Okay, it's a Moltres. Oh my god. Oh man, that feels bad. That feels real bad. I'm not gonna lie to you. That feels really bad. Ugh. I can't trap them. Darn it. And they have my berry now. I wonder what moves this thing has. Let's find out. Let's find out if it has anything other than... Because it's Trick, Light Screen, Reflect, right? Oh, it only has five turns to Reflect. That's actually not so bad. They switch back into Instant, that's fine, right? I coil again. Just like doing our little dance, right? Now I'm Thousand Arrowsing, by the way. <laughs> so I can hit the Moltres in the switch in. Okay, Taunt comes out. Oh, that means they're attacking. So they actually have an attack on that thing. Which is interesting. But I can just draining. Oh, they spirit break. Okay, that's fine. Into my probably is, oh into my comfe. It's actually a good target. But I can just draining kiss, so it's fine, right? Because like, okay, I'm not, I'm not like gaining much here, but I'm also like their threats are mostly physical, right? Or their threat, yeah, their threats are mostly physical. I guess they have Moltres, so they intend to set up, but. I don't want to get taunted, so I'm taunting the instant. Because I'm just, I'm just going to coil every turn now. Uh, until it, until they make me do something else. And then Because, like, I don't need the Figgy Berry, right? And, like, yeah, my Zygrid is always attacking last now, but that's also kind of a good thing, because I can attack after you turn. And I can get some of my recovery back with, like, Protect and, you know, and Draining Kiss and all that all that jazz, so yeah. And this Grimmsnarl is really not happy to be stuck on the field, right? So they don't fake out. That means they're either taunting, you turn or Flare Blitzing. It may be a Flare Blitz into my Comfey. Let's see. And she uses Flare Blitz. That was a good move. That was a good move, I'm not going to lie. Because, oh, and does I agree? Oh, they're going for the burn. Oh, I hope they don't get the burn. Okay, no burn. It's quite good. They go for Spirit Break into my Comfe again. That's fine. I'm just going to Draining Kiss and heal my health back. Because I can just keep coiling all day, every day, right? I am not under pressure here. What am I, plus, plus two now? Am I plus two? I actually have no idea. Oh my god, I looked at the chat post as well if you love coil. <laughs> Make him spin so we can win. Okay, the Reflect is gone, so now is actually a good turn for me to attack, I think. Oh, you know what? I'm only plus one, and my special attack is minus two, so this actually isn't that good for me. But whatever, I'll just Thousand Arrows, knock, get some damage on the board, and I'm just going to Drain and Kiss the Grimstone, I think. Like, it's a little bit of damage, not much, right? Heal a little bit of health. The thing is, if Instinct goes down, they're in pretty bad shape, because my attack will just be perma-stuck at plus one, right? It did, like, nothing, of course, but it's fine. But the nice thing about Comfy is because its HP base is so low. Oh, I think I'm going to kill Instant this turn. They don't even have Reflect up. They're going for the burn. So if they don't burn me this turn, this is looking really good. Did they burn? No burns? Okay, the Spirit Break again. It's fine, right? Comfy. Does, like, very little damage, truthfully. And then um, I actually get to go for Thousand Arrows and do this, which is super nice. I kill the Instant and I almost kill the Grimstone, which means I actually have plus one attack for the rest of the game, which is super, super nice in my opinion. Not to horn my own toot, but, uh, yeah, it's not bad at all. Comfy heals a little bit. And what's really nice about this next turn is they're- Okay, so we know they're gonna go either into Moltres or Zashian. We know that they don't want to go into Moltre or into Zashian, so they're gonna go Moltres, and they're gonna try and probably max darkness my Zygrade. Um, but the really nice thing about that is that I don't even have to worry about, um... It was actually Zashian, so I didn't personally expect that. Um, personally. However, we don't really care, right? Like, Zashin's welcome to come in. It can't even max me. Um, I can just click Thousand Arrows or Thousand Waves. I'm kind of down for Thousand Waves here. Like, if they switch, whatever. Like, if they switch, they just did nothing, right? 
So I can just Thousand Waves and Protect, because I'm plus three defense, right? Coiled three times, I think. Yeah, they don't switch, so I can just Thousand Waves. They're going to go for a Reflect, okay? They're gonna they're definitely going to live one um, one attack here. However, they Behemoth Blade into Comfey. Ooh, that's, I got bad news. That's not going to work. And actually, this is nice because I can time it so that I kill both Pokemon at the same time and force a one versus three. Or a one versus four, excuse me. And we still two-shot the Zacian, so like it's not like it's not like this is bad or anything, right? And now I can just click a thousand arrows. Like Zacian can't do anything. I'm gonna intimidate this turn with it by switching to instant, and then I can protect parting shot or even just thousand arrows if I want. Uh, but yeah, this is looking pretty this is looking pretty over. I'm not gonna lie to you. The nice thing is like I knew that it didn't matter if I took full instance, because let's be honest, how many games has my item actually activated, right? They don't nobody's getting me to the point where like Nobody's getting me to the point where I need to activate the berry, right? So I don't need the berry. It's just kind of like insurance. It's like it's like for when my back's against the wall. Like honestly, Lumberry might be better here. They go for light screen. Doesn't really matter. I don't really have special attackers anymore anyway. Comfey gonna die? Yeah, I want to save Comfey. It's worth it to me to save it because, um, yeah, because I don't want it to die. This is nice because no matter who they target, it's bad for them. They go into instant. It's bad for them because it's instant. Ooh, it does a ton of damage. Might be a crit there. Is it just that strong? Yeah. Okay. No. Yeah. No. I shouldn't do that much. I was like, huh? <laughs> the squeezy? Um, okay, in theory, I could still lose this, like, if they one-shot my Zygrade, because the the unfortunate thing about Zygrade is I actually, before I can max, I actually do have to, uh, I actually do have to Thousand Arrows first, right? So if Moltres somehow one-shot me, I don't have any special boost right now, so, yeah, right? But it's a one versus four. What about White Herb? Oh, White Herb could be okay. I, I honestly think that it's, like, Lumberry is pretty good, but, like, the thing about Iapopaberry is that if you get it, like... That's Thousand Arrows here. Uh, the, okay, wait, I should explain this. The reason I'm not protecting... Like, okay, I don't think I died to a Dark... They're gonna max Dark with me here, right? Um, and I don't think I died to it, but... What if they max Airstream? Uh, okay, actually, I guess technically max... Max... Protect is best here. My thought process was, Protect is not best here because... If they max Dark with me, they drop my special defense, then I... Um, get a special... Then I drop their special attack, so the only difference is that, like... They did a little bit extra damage, but by protecting, I can actually Parting Shot... And, like, yes, I took a little bit of damage, but I'll actually go into Comfey, and then I can Floral Healing and be a full HP. So, like, technically, it's it's slightly better. Um, and even if I, like, let's say I'm, like, I won't get, I won't die unless I get crit. So let's assume that I'm gonna get crit anyway. Like, it, with by doing this, uh, it gives me the best chance to, um, still, like, get some usage out of, like, or I, I get to stall one more turn of max, so, like, let's say they max Darkness into Zygarde twice and the second one crits, then I would still have Triple Fake Out plus, you know, um... Triple Fake Out plus Dynamax available, that might let me win. They should go for Darkness, yeah, this is Darkness, so that's what I expected, and then... It does I great, it does... Yeah, it wouldn't have killed, but it, this is technically slightly safer. If I lose Zygrade, I will max Kumpei, that'll be the plan. I'll use Double Fake Out plus Kumpei to win. Or actually, I think I could just max Incin and win that way as well, but yeah, that's, either way is fine. I would I would have to knock off with Rillaboom before I attacked, is the only thing, to make sure I didn't act with the weakest policy. Um, so yeah, this is just like, like again, we're up 4-1, to one and like... This is just a slightly safer, it's slightly more optimal. If things don't go my way, this gives me more outs. Does that make sense? Am I explaining things properly to you all? Max Comfy anyway? No, because I want I, I really want Zygrid to do it. I feel like I'm really happy with how Zygrid's been doing. And Thousand Waves is like, it's definitely gimmicky and situational, but when it works, it's really good. Because the fact that that Zygarde couldn't switch was so uh, important for this game. Like, it just messed up my opponent's positioning so much that I think it was, it was really interesting. The floral Healing here. This way, like, you know, they're, they're minus one, I'm minus one, but now they are at, uh, I'm at full HP. Max Comfey, please. Hey, if they crit me, I will. They airstream into my Zygrade. They don't crit. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no. Y'all really want me to Max Comfey? I really don't want to, I'll be honest. Did that change how you feel? Fine. Again, I can do it. I sense the presence of many, though. Any any presence of many ears and many ears in the chat? All right. Here's the deal. I will max Comfey if it doesn't if it doesn't get hit. If they target Zygarde this turn, I will max Comfey. How is how's that for a deal? Okay. Otherwise, I'm maxing Zygarde. I'm winning. Fair. If Comfey doesn't get targeted this turn, I can max it. Airstream into... Okay. Alright. Deal's a deal. A deal's a deal. All max comfy. All 
I want to be clear that this isn't the right move, and that if I would Max Zygrid this turn, the game would be over, but... I guess you've seen enough of Max Zygrid to know what it looks like, and I guess you don't really know what Max, uh, Max Comfey looks like. Now, I do want to remind you, I thought it'd be funnier if I didn't tell you, but to be honest, let's be on like, let's, it's fair to tell you. They do have one turn of light screen left, which, okay, actually, we'll stall out. How about that? How's that for a deal? We'll stall out the last turn of light screen. This is the second game I've won without Dynamax. Like, I don't need to Dynamax here to win. Big flower for Valentine's Day. <laughs> I hope I lose. I hope I lose. I hope I lose. I deserve to lose. What am I doing? Oh my god, chat. I hope- if I lose because I was trying to stunt for you all, I'm gonna be very upset with myself. Here you go, though. I don't even know if Comfy is Dynamax candied. Whee! Go Comfy! Use Comfy Blast! <laughs> <laughs> nice, I'm Dynamax Candy. Thank you, whoever, whoever gave me this comfy. They go for a nasty plot again. Okay, well, we do win, which is nice. Your ender is great. Yeah, I agree. Does this kill? Dynamax Comfy, no drops. <laughs> <sighs> okay, well, let's be a Zygrade. Oh, man. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Um... That's super fine with us. Right, because the thing is that Lapras doesn't exert any pressure on my... Lapras doesn't exert any pressure on my Feeny, which is really good. What's the worst case scenario? They switch into... No, there's no worst case scenario. Uh, I'm gonna Nature's Madness this turn, get some damage in the instant. That can come in handy later, because my next move is going to be to, uh, to, um, to miss, and making sure that I, uh, I want to delay my miss turn since I'm going to be on the field for so long. This is probably G-Max Resonance, but I guess they could hard read me and just go for Max Geyser. It's a pretty obvious switch, so if they read me, like, no big deal. Um, they don't actually max, though, perhaps, and they don't fake out either, which is interesting. So, maybe miss would have been better this turn. Maybe they just freeze-dry? They freeze-dry into my instant, it's, oh, into my Feeny, unfortunate. There's a ton of damage as well. I guess they're gonna parting shot. Oh, they crit me. That's unfortunate, uh, but that tells us it's not life orb. Alright, that's okay. It's not great, but it is okay. You know. I wish that hadn't happened, but you live and you learn, right? Yeah, that was a pretty rough turn one, though. Um, I did get half damage on instant, though, which actually may come in handy. That might actually be kind of useful. Zashin, okay, that's good, that's good. I mean, it's bad, it's bad, but it's good, it's good. Um... I think they're pretty likely just going to go for a... I kind of wish I missed it turn one. So I definitely need to mist here. The question is, do I want to fake out? Because I think I have to fake out because they may just be Sword of Dance, in which case I just die, right? So even though I think it's pretty likely that Zashin switches back into instant here and they max geyser me, um, I do still think I have to... I think I have to still do this. They're not Life Orb Lapras, so it shouldn't be able to one-shot my instant, actually. So I think this is all right. Um, and because I have double Intimidate, like, it should be okay, I think. They're going to max Lapras here. That's fine with me. They are going to geyser. Um, so that's not great, but it's okay, I guess. Uh, yeah, this is kind of bad, but I should get missed up. This is going to be pretty difficult to win, I'm not going to lie to you, but doable is just difficult. I kind of need damage on this action. If I get, uh, it's probably Parasong. No, I think I lose this, because I don't think, I think in the end they won't be able to beat the Lapras. They go for Protect, actually, so that was, in my opinion, a little risky, but, I mean, it worked for them, so good for them. Um, I go for Fake Out. I go for Mist. Ideally, they'd max lightning me here, but I don't think that's pretty likely. They're going to go for Geyser. Okay, makes sense. My instant. I should survive this narrowly. I do narrowly survive. Not bad, not bad. 
Actually, no, I can still win this. Uh, I just have to look at their team. Right, I can still- I can still win this. Yes, this is actually doable somehow. I wish I knew if my intimate was faster than their Lapras, but I have no way of knowing that, so... Do this instead. They're very likely gonna predict this, however, it's still okay, I think, in the long run. They're gonna go for a... Swords Dance! Okay, good for me, good for me, good for me. Very good for me. I go for a little Nature's Madness. Not bad, not bad. Now, the Zashin will kill everything, which is bad, don't get me wrong. However, I took half of its health. Double, however, I also gave it recovery, though, which is kind of bad. Oh, they geysered here, actually. You know the funny thing is, if I max guarded my Rillaboom here, I'd probably be in pretty good shape. Um, let's see here. So, they don't know that I don't have... Um, Actually, I could Heal Pulse and Switch here, right? Because they are they have to go for um, Max Resonance. So, Heal Pulse plus Switch is actually kind of interesting. Brings Ashian back to plus two. Um, I just need to make sure that I live one. I could have also knock off here. But, they, yeah, they, they do really have to Resonance, I think. They've been playing really defensively as Ashian as well. So, that's like something worth noting. Um, other options I have are Maxing Insin. But I don't think that's going to be the play. Because I do need Zygarde to win. My mist is wearing off though, like I haven't really made good turn use of my mist turns. It's one intimidate. I really do feel like they may protect here. I'm I'm very much playing this like it's 20 uh <laughs> 2016. They protect? Okay, that's good. I could have maybe punished this harder, but I didn't want to bring in Zygrade because um they're gonna go resonance this turn most likely, and yeah, that's like would be pretty bad for me. Cool. Alright, cool. So we we've stalled somewhat well. We got rid of their Dynamax, which is good. They do have resonance up now, which is bad. Uh, they hit my instant, which is whatever. Actually, I see what I have to do. I see what I have to do. It's fine. I see what I have to do. Oh, pay attention, Wolf. Uh, wait, never mind. Doesn't matter. I never hit the Lapras. Feeny healing a little bit. I just brought instant. But I healed my instant. God, these kind of games are so, like grindy, you know? You're just like, every turn, you're like, oh my god, can I please get closer to winning? I'm almost in a miss, right? Two turns of miss left? Okay. Interesting. So I definitely switch Feeny into Rillaboom here. Although I am going to take a Freeze Dry, right? And I have to fake up the Zashin. Ah, oh, they might just Hydro Pump me, though. And their last move is probably Sacred Sword, right? So I do I have to do that, to keep in mind. Go for Fake Out. Etc. They go for Hydro Pump, they connect. I've never seen a Lapras player miss a Hydro Pump, I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, I actually go down, which I was not expecting. It's fine though, right? I mean, it's not good! But I think it's okay. As long as I make this next turn correct. I think if I make the next move correct, I can win. What does the chat think? Does the chat agree or disagree? Because I can fake out the Lapras and Coil here. <laughs> it's very risky. If I get it wrong, I'm almost guaranteed to lose. But the thing is that maxing here doesn't really help me. And I think it's pretty likely that they forgot about Mist and switch Lapras into Instant and just Protect. Okay, they predict Zashian, so I made the right move in the end. They, oh, they don't predict both. Okay, cool. That comes out. But unfortunately, okay, they didn't forget about Mist, which is bad. Because unfortunately now... I think I'm kind of doomed, right? I think it's doomed. Because they most likely have... The issue is that they most likely have, um, Parish Song. And, and if my Rillaboom goes down, then I would just, I would just pretty much guaranteed lose. And I don't see a way for me to stop plus two Behemoth Blade from knocking out my Rillaboom. Um, probably. There's probably no way for me to... Okay, they still have the thing up, but I am plus one, so I'm gonna go for Max... I'm just gonna go Max Quake. Pray that this goes well for me. It probably won't, but it's fine. Yeah, I think with pa without Par Parasong is really difficult for my team to deal with because it kills my Pokemon. 
They switch into instant. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. I could have switched into... You know what? This is a mistake on my end. I should have sacked Fini here. I sacked Zygarde, or I sacked Rillaboom instead. But there was no need to save Rillaboom at this point. I was just thinking, like, I don't know, like, maybe, you know, I don't know. If I'd saved, if I'd saved Rillaboom here, this was possibly winnable. Um, I could have even maxed Rillaboom, but I just didn't think it was the plan because he's with Lapras. Yeah, I mean, with, I don't even think neutral Max Quake KOs Ashing from this spot, right? Even after the chip damage I dealt. Yeah, I should have switched into. I should have sacked. I should have sacked Feeny. Because if Lulaboom's still around, I could possibly win. Feeny's just here to what? Mist and Heal Pulse and Nature's Madness? I Grassy Glide. I was figuring, like, maybe. This could be close in terms of damage. Maybe the chip matters. They go for the right target, which is Sacred Sword, however, that's the wrong move. I don't think that kills. Yeah, that's not a very strong move. Um, and with that in mind, Quake maybe actually KOs here. And because they didn't take a KO this turn, they're not in great shape. Oh, that's huge. That's really. Wait, this is winnable. This is actually winnable. This is actually winnable. This is actually Willa 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 What's their last mon though? It's probably what? Landorus? It's probably Landorus, right? Which makes this difficult. And the grass is gone as well. Huh. They probably thought plus two Sacred Sword were KO, but it doesn't KO. Okay, they go into Lapras. So here's the thing. I'm neutral on my, uh, I'm neutral on my... Is it a Moongus? In a matchup like this, I don't think it's going to be a... I don't think they've brought a Moongus as their last one, right? Can we all agree on that? So, with that in mind, I think it's actually better to go for U-Turn and Max Quake both into the Lapras. Um... Because I don't think it's likely that they... I think it's almost guaranteed that Instant switches out here into whatever their flying type is, and I can't do anything about that. It is Landy, so I do have to deal with Instant Intimidate now, which is bad. Um... But I can set Mist up, and then if I can stall a couple turns, I may be able to win with... Rillaboom in the end, actually. Max Quake comes out, get another special defense boost, although it doesn't really matter because it's switching anyway. It doesn't do very much damage, but this chip can be important because I need to put things in Rillaboom range in the end, right? Like, at the end of the ga this game, it's going to have to be Z either Zygrade or Rillaboom versus the world. We go for U turn, just get a little bit more chip down. Also, turning off Grassy Terrain is pretty nice. The issue is the Flanderous is very likely to Swords Dance, but I, I can't do anything about that, right? Feeny comes in. If I keep Feeny alive, though, it could be useful. Would I rather miss, or would I rather take half of Landorus's health? I'd rather take half of Landorus's health, right? I'd rather Nature's Madness. They go for a Freeze Dry into my Fini. Yeah, unfortunate. There's a lot of damage. I think that's just out of barrier. Oh, it's just in barrier range, which is nice. Cool. They're being really smart to not attack my Zygrade. Um, I'm going to Nature's Madness here, even though I really, really want not to... Um, I really want to get missed up. It's just not worth it for me. I have to. I have to. Because they're gonna swords into the Landorus here, right? And I need to get damage in the Landorus in order to win. So yeah, that's just what I have to do. I don't like it, but it's it's necessary. They actually go for Rock Slide, which is really interesting because, oh, that's very interesting. That very much implies that they do not have Swords Dance. Because if it was Rock Slide, it's normally Earthquake Fly, right? As the first two. I'm actually doing decent chip damage here as well. Like it's not it's not terrible chip damage in the slightest. Half health, please. Nice, no flinch. I am plus three special defense as well. So now things are getting close to range of just Grassy Glide spam, right? So I'm using 28. I'm back to Babby for me, which isn't great. Um, I kind of want to coil again, but I think that I'm probably better off. Like, okay, so here's the dilemma. I think they're pretty likely going to... Actually, no, this is fine. I can miss and, and thousand arrows here, right? What am I at? Minus two. Minus one. Um, I think miss thousand arrows is fine. I think they're almost certainly going to protect. Oh, interesting. Oh, wait, that's super good, though. Ah, wait, they outplayed me. It's really bad. Oh, wait, does it... Wait, how does this affect... La how does this... Does this knock Landorus down? Wait, hang on a second. <laughs> Yo, wait a second. Oh, interesting. Wait a second. Y'all, wait, do you know what I can do? Wait, how do I- I have thousand waves. So I can force a one versus one, right? Hang on, wait, because they're going to freeze dry into my- Wait, hang on, this should be winnable, I think, from here. 
You know what I have to do here? Wait, this is crazy. You know what I have to do is I actually have to heal post the Zygarde and give up the boots in order to win this and switch out. And then I can Thousand Wave Fake Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because but the thing is, uh, I, I need to I need to make it instant versus I need to make it Zygrade versus uh, instant in the end or Z like whatever versus instant. They're probably gonna Earthquake this turn. Oh, they protect Lapras, protect Earthquake. No, did they did they give it to me? Earthquake. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, okay. I should survive because of Grassy Terrain. <laughs> no, I died. Did they crit me? I have Grassy Terrain up. Okay, I guess it's just stronger than I realized. However, what's interesting about this? What's really interesting about this is that um, if they get instant next to Lapras, I would lose, right? I just realized that. Hang on, wait. I have to make. I have to show you all. I have to show you all my ultimate. My ultimate hard read by checking my speed ties, speed tiers. I am 115. I'm too slow. Oh no. It's fine. It's fine. Wait a second. It is fine because. Lapras switches to instant here every day of the week, right? So I can Thousand Waves here and then fake out here, right? And that way they will not get, they'll not be able to, yeah, this is the play. They switch, yep, got him, got him, got him. Okay. Wait, this is really close, but I think winnable. I think it's winnable from here. Oh, I have missed up, I forgot! Let's go, my parting shot! <laughs> Fake out comes out, okay, no, 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 and then they flinch, and then Thousand Waves traps them in. Which means Landers is dead to rights. Oh, instant survived! <gasps> I messed up, no! Oh wait, no, I can still win, I can still win, I can still win. Oh, this is such a bad survive. I should have grassy glided, I guess. Okay, it's fine. No, they're still in range, they're still in range, okay. This is so close, <laughs> but I think I can win. Because, <laughs> honestly, do we think Zygarde... I don't, I'm going to say... I don't think Zygarde gets one shot by Lapras. I'm just going to say it. Someone's got to say it's going to be me. Their, this, their move this turn is going to be... They have to protect... They are they're gonna they have to fake out here, right? So I'm going to Thousand Waves Grass Glide. I think they have to double Rillaboom, right? I forgot about Mist. Ooh! Uh-oh. Uh oh, wait a second, I didn't consider that this... I should kill though, right? Yeah, I definitely kill, because they were at 56% when I when I, when I I first hit them with this, and now they're at 40%, more or less. Let's go. I can't believe we won this. That was... This matchup looked so bad, and when the Zashian Swords danced, I was like, oh no. <laughs> like, honestly, if you asked me how I won this, I wouldn't be able to tell you, because I don't know how I did any damage this team. Like, I genuinely don't know how I won this. If anyone knows, let me know, because I, I actually have no clue. GG. Oh, they didn't lead it. Okay, we're, we're still alive. We're still alive. We're still alive. Winnable, 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 winnable. Go Zygrade, the Pokemon fan. And Rillaboom, the great friend. All right, they didn't lead us. So this is doable. Now I haven't calculated. Let me be clear. I haven't calculated a single Kyogre attack when I built this team. I don't have any idea how much any Kyogre attacks do. Do I know that Ice Beam is four times super effective? Yes, that's about the extent of my knowledge. They have instant. They don't have any instant. They don't have any immune. So I'm just gonna max Quake and Grassy Glide. Like obviously, they're most likely just gonna max Kyogre here. Ah, whatever. If I die, I die. Oh, do I not die? Wait. They probably, if they don't protect, they're taking a full power Grassy Glide, which, like, is extraordinarily risky if you're... Wait, what's going on? Why didn't they max? Do they have Giga Squeezing in the back? I don't get it. I don't get it at all. What's going on? Are they not maxing? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> For a second, I was like, oh, what's going on here, buddy? They're probably gonna... Vault Switch? They don't really have anything better to do with the Lucky. Oh, they might still have a screen, actually. Maybe it's screens. Okay, yeah, that's a good move. That's a really good move. Good play, good play, good play. However, the thing is that they got their defense up, but I got my special defense up. And I think it's honestly more valuable for me. I don't, I honestly don't think this one-shots. Oh, wow. I actually am shocked at that one-shot. 
Fake out the lucky. I could have fake out the lucky, but I wasn't sure. Um, because they, the, I think they either had, like I didn't know anything about this lucky, but I thought it probably a thunder. That's pretty much all I can infer there. So it could have been screens. It could have just been regular. Um, and there was a decent chance that they max Kyogre there, and max plus Ice Beam could or max Hailstorm could be pretty bad if they just like Volt Switch Hailstorm, for example. Um, Feeny comes in actually. Okay, it's a little bit weird, but it's okay, I guess. Um, uh, Misty Strain is up. I don't love Misty... Actually, I like not being able to get burned, so I'm cool with it. Um, I also like that I didn't give them recovery. I'm also cool with that. Now, okay, chat, let's take a second. It's another learning moment. The last one's Archibu. How do we know that? Because, um, it is. Agree? Um, it's almost certainly Archibu in this position because they're not going to bring either... They could bring Weezing independently, but then they would only have Kyogre for offense since we already know that the, um... We already know that the, uh, Aleki was support, right? So... Yeah, we can infer at this point that number one, Kyogre's gonna max, that's the first thing we know, and the second thing we know is that Urshu is the last Pokemon. So with that knowledge in mind, we know that maybe keeping Kumpei around could be good, because um, Kumpei would then be able to survive, uh, and, and, and Draining Kiss, and always just like clean up the Urshu if we needed. Um, so yeah. Is this trying to get rank one? No, I just wanted, I just wanted a, a good match for a YouTube video, but all my matches I've won, so yeah. They're gonna go for a Protect, totally cool, I didn't target that slot, so that's cool with me. Um, the thing is, because I got a special defense boost, I don't even think this can do that much. This should be Hellstorm into Zygrade, I think. Um, and even if it is into Rillaboom, it's into Rillaboom, that's fine. Like, I mean, I take some damage, but they actually overwrite their own rain, which is pretty bad for them. Um, and they also get Chip Hail up, which is bad for them as well, because I'm going to be chipping down this Kyogre over time. Um, and I also get another special defense boost. And did I mention they turn off their rain, so they do less damage now? Yeah, I feel very happy about how this game has gone so far. This is, like, pretty much... Yeah, I couldn't really ask for much better. Uh, remind me to pay attention to the speeds here. Don't scratch mic. I'm sorry. I forgot that the mic is on my mouth. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, guys. I, I honestly am. I'm really sorry. Does, is it better now? Is it still happening? Good now? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I'm honestly really sorry. <laughs> Please accept my apology. Oh... Wait, what? Did I miss Kyogre taking hail damage or the goggles? I was rubbing your watch with Mike. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the Feeny is Calm Mind. Okay, so we saw leftovers. What does that tell us about Feeny? We infer that it's Calm Mind. Everyone on the same page with that? Uh, I'm actually down to taunt the Feeny. I don't want to set it up, setting up on me. Hellstorm comes out. That's most likely in Desigrade. Uh, it doesn't really matter, though. How much is it going to do? Like, zero? Oh, it doesn't even activate 50% form. Oh my god, this thing sucks. Kyogre sucks. Oh my god, imagine Max Hailstorming as I grade with no HP and EVs, and it doesn't even do... It doesn't even do 50%. God, please tell me they Moonblast it, at least. Have the decency to Moonblast. Oh my god, how... Why is Zygarde a Kyogre counter? I didn't sign up for this. Why is Zygarde a Kyogre counter? <laughs> yeah, so we knew... So we knew it was, um... Calm Mind because it had leftovers. And you don't run leftovers if you don't have Calm Mind. Ah! Zygarde! Yeah, it's just out of hell range. Um, I could just... Let's see. It's, the thing is, I'm even bulkier now than I was a turn ago. Alright, if my opponent is like... If my opponent's really smart, what they're gonna do here is they're actually gonna geyser into my... Their last moments are Shibu. I'm actually down to just Thousand Waves here. I'm gonna Thousand Waves with Floral Healing. I could Protect, but I don't need to. Um, because I think what they wanted... If, if I'm my opponent here, I'm thinking, okay, he's gonna protect both his mons to let Zygarde go into Hail Range. So, therefore... Like, so, because either I attack... So, basically, I think my opponent's move here is the guys of the Kumpei. Um, and because, like, plus two didn't even KO, or plus two special defense, I still survived. Now I'm plus three, so I would, I would live a double up here anyway. Um, but I think this should be Geyser. Yeah, it should be Geyser into Kumpei, which is why I did this. Because they really... Oh, into Zygarde. Huh. Okay, that's a good move. It did more than I expected. It must be Mystic Water. Thousand Waves. This is good. No switches. Actually, you crit the Kyogre, which is nice. And they're going to... Maybe Muddy Water? Or Moon Blast. Either one is fine, right? They Muddy Water. Please hit Zygarde. They miss Zygarde. That's unfortunate. Doesn't do very much damage to Kumpe, though, which is nice. They don't even get the accuracy drop, which is also nice. Yeah, so they're not in great shape here. Yeah, full, full, full experts in the, in the, in the, in the sub-discord. Except I don't know what type of Feeny is because it's not mine. I borrowed it. 
because I, I I gave mine to Faye. <laughs> but actually, this come this genie has been better than the one I wanted to use anyway, so this actually worked out pretty well. Yeah, I don't know if they can beat Zygarde anymore. Oh, this is so bad. All my games are in the are, should be, like belong in the highlight reel. This is really bad. I don't know how many. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just saying for an hour and a half, and I think I would put every game in a YouTube video. All right, how much is Ice Beam doing? Let's see here. I'm no longer Dynamax. Oh my god, please just activate the bed. Please just activate Power Construct. What do I have to do to get a Power Construct active? No. Zagre, get hit with that. Zagre, what are you doing? Huh. Oh my god. Oh, I got it. taunt war off. Ref oh, they had reflect. Um, I'm down. Just click thousand. How many PP does this have? Eight. I'm not gonna run out of PP. Thousand waves and draining this. This is gonna do a lot more damage. Okay, we kill Kyogre. They probably when I play against Comfey, like I don't know if other people are this way, but I always forget about priority draining kiss, like every time without fail. So I think that like even though like obviously if they expect a draining kiss, they should just protect. Like since I would have forgotten about it if I was in that spot, I think it's fair to assume that they forget about it too. So I went for draining kiss there, just to get the kill. Because like obviously I want to taunt the Feeny, but like I'm still doing good damage to it. Please hit Zygarde. Okay, okay, Zygarde, good job, good job, good job. I'm proud of you. Oh wait, don't Oh, okay. Brain boosted. Kinda bad, but okay. Finally, I get to transform. This is why Muddy Water is bad, by the way. This is why, this is why my Fenia ran Scald and Muddy Water, so whenever I wanted to Muddy Water, I could just say, No Wolf, you're not Muddy Watering, and then I'd click Scald instead, and then I wouldn't lose. I sense the presence of many. It has the same HP as before, <laughs> like before it transformed. <laughs> oh my god, it's so good. And here comes Urshifu, which is our prediction, right? We think it's Urshifu. Yep, and we, yeah. So there was a lot of inferences we made this game, right? We assumed it's, we, we assume it's, it actually may be Choice Band Urshifu. So we're going to just get another thousand waves here and Draining Kiss. Obviously, like, I could heal up my Jazai grade, but since we're not really under any danger, I'd rather just Draining Kiss the Urshifu. And since I have Rillaboom in the back, like, once I get damage on the Urshifu, I, I win. Uh, I think it's likely this thing's Choice Band, truthfully, based on the rest of the team, but it could be Focus Sash. Is it Water-type? Chat, you have to tell me if it's Water-type. I can't tell. It's Water, homie? Oh, didn't read the chat. Mm. <laughs> no, Zygarde, die, kid! Uh-oh, guys. Uh-oh, is Zygarde gonna die? Oh, is Zygarde gonna die? Oh, no, it's low HP. Is Zygarde gonna die? <laughs> oh! Back to, back to healthy. No! Oh. Anyway, with Rillaboom in the back, this game is pretty much over. Uh-oh. Nice. Rain is still up. Uh, I don't think that's ban I don't. I think that's probably protect protect Urshifu as well. Floor healing this turn. Okay, GG. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah.